Welcome back guys. In this video, we are going to learn finding a duplicate element in array using collection. Right, so this is uh, very simple. Here we are going to use set. Set is one of the collection. So set actually is going to return a unique element. If you want to print a unique element, you can use set over here. Right, so uh, let's say I'll create an instance for a set now. So here we are, you know, defining a data type as an integer. So I can define integer. We need to add any variable name equal to new keyword as set. This is what we are creating instance for the set. Now I'll be importing the package. Fine. So now what we need to do, first we need to add all the array element to the set. Right. So we can go with the you know for loop or for each. I am just going with the for each loop now. For each. This is very simple. You can add an array over here. It is going to return one by one value to the another variable. So this is integer. I'm creating a new variable as an integer variable. Uh, you can add any variable name, something like this. Now, set is a, this variable. Set dot add is a method. This method, you know, going to add all the value one by one to the set. Right. So now if you want to print this, so you want to print the set now. If I run this, it is printing all the value only unique value. It's not, you know, uh, returning a duplicate value. But here our question is find the duplicate element. Right? If they are asking to remove the element, then this is the answer. Right? If they are asking like, you know, remove the element from this array, then you can write something like this. Right, because it is returning a unique value. So removing the duplicate value. Now I want to find the duplicate. Right, so here I the output should be, I want the output should be something one and two only. Right, so one, one and two is the duplicate value is there. So now I want the output, expected output should be this one. So now here I'll be adding a one more uh, instance, one more instance for the set. I'll be adding this one. This is for a unique set. This is for a duplicate set. Why two instance of set? One is for storing a unique value and one is for storing a duplicate value. Here I am adding, you know, a condition. I'll be removing this. I'm just adding a condition over here. In the condition, I'm saying uh, this unique set dot add. Right, add the value. Here, the first iteration, it will go and take this, this value. One right, so now in the unique set, there is no value is there, so it is going to add it in the unique set, meaning that in this set. So now that the second iteration it will go and take this value. Now in the two, also it is not there in the unique set, so it is going to add right. So the next iteration it will go and check in the one, one already is there. So what happened? This add method is a boolean, uh, it's going to return a boolean. So what it is going to return, it is going to return a false. Right, so it is going to return a false over here. So what we have to do, I don't want to you know, uh, if it is a false means, what I'm saying, I just wanted to add it in a, the duplicate set. Right, so I can say d set dot add the value. Right, so if it is a unique, you can add it in, uh, in this instance, I mean unique set. If it is a, uh, not there, I mean, if it is a duplicate, then you can add it in a, another set. This is what my expectation. So now if I want to print a unique set or, you know, duplicate set, it is going to return the value. If it is a duplicate set, what it is going to return? One and two only. If it is a unique set, it is going to return unique value. It's removing the duplicate value. See, now if I run this, now we are what we are expecting duplicate set. So it is returning a one and two. Why it is returning one and two? The iteration, right? The third time, once it, one it is coming right now, here it is uh, going to check whether it is already is there in the set or not. If the value is not there in the set, it is going to return a false. So that's what we are adding it to the another set. That is a duplicate set. That is where coming into the picture second also. Second also already is there, right? The two value also already is there. So that's where it is going to add it in a another set. 
So this is the way we need to print the unique value. If you want to print a duplicate value or if you want to print a unique value, you can able to do that. Suppose unique set also you can able to print. If I run this, it's going to return a unique value. Right. So this is what you know, find the duplicate element in collection. This is very simple, right? So if you are working in a selenium, if you are practicing selenium, right? Then you may think like, you know, why these questions are communicated. Suppose in, in automation, if, suppose if you are working in a drop down, you need to validate whether any duplicate value is present in the drop down. Right? You need to get all the option, I mean value from the drop down, you need to validate. Sometimes you need to check any duplicate order is created or not, any uh, duplicate, you know, um, train number or duplicate company name or customer name is present in the web table, right? So that's the reason, you know, you should know finding the duplicate element. So next video, I will show you, you know, how to validate, uh, how to find the duplicate value in, uh, in the web table, right? I hope this is going to help you. Thank you.